Welcome to Art Tip 16. This is another exciting art tip where we're going to make this really cool plot that you see over here with the Cyberpunk 2077 theme. So this is a time series plot and that's going to be the focus of this lesson. And you can see uh, as a bonus, we're going to be doing this GG plot theme, which is for the Cyberpunk game. Uh, we're going to use some of the different colors that they use uh, to make it kind of like a retro theme. So we're going to be focused on, on plotting time series, customizing the ggplot, and using a cyberpunk style plot. And as a bonus today, if you check out my viewer over here, I'm going to show you how to quickly convert this into an interactive plot as well, which is great for shiny web apps and including uh, really customizing the theme of, of your uh, shiny plots. Okay, to get started here, uh, if you haven't done so already, you need to get on the RTIPS mailing list. This gets you access to the code and you get these video tutorials each week. So sign up for the RTIPS newsletter and then that'll get you access to the code. And what you're going to do is do a git pull and that's going to pull down the latest files. Uh, you'll get this 016 Cyberpunk ggplot folder. Go in there, open this up, and it'll open up this file here. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, load in some libraries. So the uh, libraries that we're going to be using today, Plotly for our bonus, uh, which is for interactive plotting, the Tidyverse, which is our core R package. And then we're also going to load the TimeTK package, which is my, one of my time series packages. So uh, the data we're going to be working with is the Walmart Sales Weekly. This comes from the TimeTK package. And it looks something like this, where it's a table of 1,000 uh, rows by 17 columns. And the main target is this weekly sales. So it's a weekly data set. You have a timestamp in here and you have a store uh, ID and department. So um, it's going to be sales by ID over time. Uh, we can do a quick visualization. So this is a really powerful technique uh, used in the time TK plot, plotting the time series with the plot time series function. And if you're interested in learning more about TimeTK, I teach time series in my DS4B203-R course. TimeTK visualization is discussed in week two, and it's there's a, a ton of powerful time series visualization functions. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take our Walmart sales weekly, which looks like this. We're going to group it by ID, which is the main grouping feature. It's this ID column. Um, so you'll get uh, different store and department combinations. So there's seven total combinations and we can see that in our groups here. And then you just pipe it into this plot time series function. Now I have a couple of settings here. So you, you uh, use the date variable as date and then uh, our target is weekly sales. So our dot value is weekly sales. That is, uh, if you get the basics there, then you're good to go. Um, but I also have a few others in here. So I have color var uh, set to ID. So that's gonna change the color by ID. Um, I have smooth equal to true. We, you can toggle that to true and false. Um, so if we run this, just showing you what it creates, um, this is actually a ggplot object. So if I open this up, this is uh, your basic time series ggplot, and it's literally two lines of code in order to be able to create this, which is great. Um, the, uh, the facet columns is going to create two columns for us side by side. We can change that if we want to do, say, three columns. Um, and that's basically how this works. Uh, the, the other important feature here, and the reason I have this set as interactive equals false, is because it returns a ggplot object. So when I save this as a g1, if I go into my environment, uh, this g1 is actually a ggplot object. Now, if I toggle this back to interactive equals true, control enter, control enter. Now I get an interactive object. And if I check out G1 again, now it's a plotly object. So it's an interactive plot. Um, so for the purpose of this demonstration, we're actually gonna be customizing this interactive plot. So I'm gonna set G, uh, interactive equal to false, and I'm gonna show you how you can further customize this. Um, just to show you kind of what this plot time series function is doing under the hood, uh, it does a, it does a lot, but some some of the basics of what is being created, it basically takes our data. So if you want to learn how to do this from scratch using ggplot, you can definitely make this plot from scratch. Um, here's how you would do it: you would take your Walmart sales weekly data, looks something like this. Um, you would pipe it into the ggplot, which creates your canvas. So I've got my date and my weekly sales. 
um, then you would add your line uh, so you get some lines that look like this you, then you would add your smoothers um, they look like this uh, and because we haven't grouped anything uh, using the facet wrap you just get this kind of line in here so the magic happens once you get the facet wrap going um, so now it splits it out by group which is this facets argument here and then I'm going to change up the theme because I really don't like that ggplot theme so we're just going to switch it over to theme minimal and then I'm going to put the legend position at the bottom okay so this is uh, this this code here makes um, a graph that's similar to what we've created here and you can see that the, the advantage here of using this plot time series function is it creates a, a pretty professional looking plot much much more so than this in just one line of code so you definitely want to learn it um, if you want to learn ggplot from scratch which I also recommend definitely check out my 101 course week four I go through how to customize ggplots and, and build them from scratch Okay, so now let's get on to the main part, which is this really cool thing called the cyberpunk style. And this is going to go over customizing ggplots. I also cover this in week four of my 101 course. And I want to give some credit where credit is due. Um, I saw this post by uh, rcoder.com on GitHub where they actually have this the cyberpunk uh, theme that they're developing. So I, I uh, borrowed a little bit of their code and I extended it a little bit as well. So... Um, what we're doing here is first we're going to create a color palette. So in ggplot, um, we want to kind of go in with a plan or, of attack, and my plan of attack is going to be coming up with a color palette that resonates with the cyberpunk style. So I'm basically utilizing the same type of code that they've used here. Uh, we create this, these colors. Um, it's seven different colors for each of the seven different lines, and we can even use this function called show call to show our colors. Um, so if you have a, a vector of hex codes, you can see kind of what hex codes are being selected. Um, so this is pretty cool. And these are what these are going to be is for our um, inside our plot. Um, it's going to be each of these lines are going to be colored using that color palette. I'm also going to come up with a color uh, background, a background too, uh, and a uh, color for the grid lines and a color for the text. Once I have that created, um, I can then create a theme function. So the, the next piece, if you want to create a custom cyberpunk style, is going to be coming up with a theme function. And this is just a function that contains a theme object from ggplot. And we go through and specify all the different key elements, like such as the plots and panels, the grids, the text, you know, what color you want for the text, the legend, uh, and then the, this thing up here is called the strip. So we want to uh, adjust all of those. You just run this you now have a theme cyberpunk which is now a function and we can add this to any ggplot now so the next piece uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that g1 which is just this up here it's g1 make sure you have interactive equal to false it's just our time series plot uh, which looks like this and we're going to customize it so um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add uh, geom area uh, underneath here. Uh, so this gives us this geom area. Uh, I'm then going to add the geom line in again. So the line overlays on top of the area. I'm then going to add a scale color with the values of the uh, colors that I want to use for my cyberpunk theme. So now you can see the green, the blue, and these are very kind of punchy colors. Um, we'll add the geom smooth in again, so the smoother kind of overlays that line. And then um, I'm going to fix up this these uh, dollar columns to change those over to dollars. So now it's dollars uh, for revenue. And then I'm going to add a uh, title here. So I've got my Cyberpunk 2077 theme, time series plot. And then I'm going to add my theme Cyberpunk. Uh, which looks something like this. And this totally changes up the plot to make it look really cool. Uh, I'm going to save this as G underscore cyberpunk. So we now have that saved. And as a bonus, we can easily turn this into an interactive plot just by using this function called ggplotly from the plotly library. And now I have an interactive ggplot with the cyberpunk theme and this is really cool because you can put it in shiny apps and you can um, also it allows people to zoom in on certain pieces of your time series and just makes it um, a really cool way to uh, to make your, your time series interactive
If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday Free R Tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here. Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.